This is one of the most luxurious overnight trains. I'm spending one full night on it, enjoying the delicious food, comfy bed, and incredible amenities. And I've booked the absolute best room in the entire train. There's actually only four others like that. So I've arrived an hour and a half early to take full advantage of the amenities of the train. So I'm ready to board and enjoy the ride. And the first thing I needed to do was obviously to drop my bags in my room and get dinner. And the dining car was one of the quietest I've ever been on. So we're gonna be silent vlogging here. I got seated at a very nice two people booth with very comfy seats and a tweed headrest. From there I could check out the menu full of delicious Scottish foods and drinks. Since I wanted to embrace the experience, I ordered whiskey. Neat, no ice or anything in it. This was definitely one of the strongest drinks I've ever tried and a bit of a shock. After googling how to best enjoy whiskey, I decided to pair it with my main dish, haggis, which is enjoyed best when you don't know what's in it. It looks a bit like lentils and tastes absolutely delicious. It is served with mashed potatoes and turnips here called nips and taties. As you can see, I really cleared my plate here. My dessert was another famous Scottish food called cluded dumpling, which is some kind of pudding made of dried fruits, spices, oatmeal, and beef fat, and a perfect way to end a meal before going to bed. So I've just paid for our dinner, which was not included in the price, unlike our breakfast, which we're gonna order in our room. I'll give you a full breakdown of how much everything costs tomorrow. So I'm in my room right now and the train just left, so we're officially on our way to Glasgow. And something really Really cool is gonna happen tonight. The train is gonna split in two with the front of the train where my room is located going to Glasgow and the back of the train going to Edinburgh. But before that we have quite a big journey ahead of us. And we've just made our first stop Watford Junction. We have a total of five stops but I plan to be asleep for all of them. Okay now let's get ready because I'm pretty excited to try the super comfy bed. This bedroom is really one of the coolest I've ever seen on a train and they even give you a little goodie bag full of toiletries. Like you have a travel size shampoo, a hand and body lotion, a body wash and even some kind of perfume called a, a pillow spray and the bag it's in is actually pretty cool too there's also this other bag with a mini version of this one so i'm gonna use that as i get ready for sleep so what's really cool about this room is that you have your very own private bathroom complete with a lock fresh towels hanging from this hook even more toiletries and some handles you can grab to not fall if the train is moving so in this bathroom you have two very different settings setting one you can stand up and have a shower which i'm gonna do right now and change in my PJs. It feels pretty good to be showered and in my PJs. But I want to show you one of the most surprising things here. In this tiny room is also a hidden toilet. So right here you have a bench. But if you look carefully, you can see this handle that you can just pull to reveal a hidden toilet. Complete with a compartment for toilet paper. To flush, you just lower the lid and press on this button. You also have a tiny sink that's right outside the door. This sink is pretty efficient and minimalist. You have a soap holder, just enough space to put a toilet trees bag, and the actual faucet that has a swivel to choose between hot and cold water. Right behind me you also have the window with a blind and right now we're in the middle of nowhere so it's pretty dark outside and there's no view but tomorrow when we wake up I think we'll have pretty nice views of our Scotland. Right now this closed. And next to that tiny sink we also have a towel holder and a trash can. But the feature I like the most is actually another hidden thing. We have a hidden table where breakfast will be served tomorrow. So this wooden table is actually pretty convenient because it folds back under the sink when you don't need it. So as you can see right now it's really late and I'm dying to go to bed and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get ready for bed while I show you the rest of the room which is very practical with so many different ways to store your stuff. You also have these blocks which allow you to control just about everything in the room from the light to the temperature and you also have some mood lighting really love this feature right above the bed you have a shelf where you can put your computers and your electronics on this side you have your own reading light a do not disturb button and you also control the main light so on top of these panels you have this type of grippy texture which is really nice if you want to keep your phone or some other stuff from falling during the night at the foot of the bed you have a completely different panel with two plugs which i'm currently using to charge my battery in a very weird way. And there's also cool decor that reminds you of the destination, Scotland. Like this nice tweed that's everywhere on the train. So the reason why I'm taking this train and going all the way up to Glasgow is actually to take another train that has been called many times the most beautiful train ride in the world. And I'm pretty excited because it goes all the way up to the Scottish Highlands. And I will go through some pretty cool spots like the most remote train station in the UK, the highest mountain in the UK, really beautiful remote coastal villages, 
areas where there's apparently a lot of very cute seals. So this will be my biggest video to date. It will take like a week to film and I'm just so excited to share the experience. So if you want to see some of that before everyone else, you should go and subscribe to my newsletter at lucillehr.com slash updates. I also put the link in the description. And when you sign up, you also receive a link with all the places I've been to in my videos. There's more than a hundred places on there and also my favorite tips for finding the best cheap travel deals. And I also have a lot of cool stuff planned for people who subscribe to my updates, like some behind the scenes info on what I'm working on right now. And also sometimes if I'm well organized enough, I'll also send you the week's video before it becomes live on YouTube. So go subscribe. And now let's use my favorite feature of the room, which is this door that not only has a mirror, but also fully locks for an undisturbed good night rest. But the absolute best thing about this room and why I chose it is actually this massive, super comfy double bed. So often when you are in sleeper trains, the seats convert into beds and it's just not the best. Here you get an actual real double mattress, which is why I was so excited to try this room. On this bed you have four super comfy pillows and they have left us some chocolate on top of it. There's one amenity I'm pretty excited to try. This is the sleep head. In here we have earplugs and a night mask. So I'm gonna try that right now. Wow, this is so comfy. I wish this was a longer journey. I decided to put the bed to good use and turn the lights off right away. I fell asleep super fast, rocked by the gentle movement of the train as we were making our way towards Glasgow. I woke up both closer to my destination and fully rested. I slept so well and the bed is super comfy. But before we get breakfast, there's one thing I want to do. Check out the beautiful views over the Scottish countryside while telling you how much everything costs and if it was worth it. So the train does cost a lot of money and I've taken the absolute best room on it. But remember, it's a hotel on the rails. So if you compare it to the price of accommodation plus transportation, I feel it's not that bad given the level of service and the fact that you sleep so well and save so much time. Like, I closed my eyes not too far away from London and I woke up today in Scotland. It's pretty cool if you ask me. So are you ready for the total price? Because it's a lot of money. So in total, I've paid £345, which is $400. It's the most expensive overnight train I've ever taken. And it is absolutely worth it if you're two, because the price of this room for two people is only £15 more. The only thing I would have wanted is for my dinner to be included in the price, because I love to eat a lot. The dinner, including the haggis, the pudding, and a really expensive whiskey was £27 total. But you know what's included? This breakfast that just arrived. So the train attendant arrived with two bags for me, one with a massive cup of coffee and an orange juice. In the second bag, we have a breakfast bowl, which is a big bowl full of veggies, like sweet potatoes, beans, and spinach, topped with a ton of cheese. And they also give us a cereal bar for later. And the views are pretty cool and ever-changing. Like a bit before, it was the countryside with the rolling hills and a ton of sheep. Now we're seeing some type of old manor in the distance. Pretty cool. My Scottish dreams are already happening. So overall, this breakfast is pretty good for something that you get in a bag. Three super days to enjoy breakfast in bed with that type of view. After this, I relaxed for a bit and got ready for my day while enjoying the beautiful views. And just like that, our train arrived into Glasgow, where it was now time to leave my hotel room on wheels behind. See you soon.